In this video, we're going to answer the question, do I need to earth the metal back box of a light switch? Now this question relates to the video that Gary and Gordon made on the Hamilton range of decorative metal accessories. Now the reason that this question is interesting, and still something of a debate if we're honest, is that there is specific information on this in Guidance Note 8, but the wording can be a little bit confusing. Now let's just be clear what we're talking about here. We're not referring to a surface mounted metal clad box, and we're not referring to an accessory that is supplied by a metal conduit system that also acts as the CPC. There is a very specific regulation that states that the accessory must be connected via an earthing tail in that instance. We're talking about a flush metal back box supplied by a twin and CPC cable. Now it may seem a bit odd that we need to earth a box that's only accessible when the accessory is unscrewed, but it is classed as an exposed conductive part and so it will need earthing. Now the question is, do we need an earthing tail from the accessory to the back box? Well there's three different types of back box we might connect up. One with two fixed lugs, one with two adjustable lugs, and a box with one fixed and one adjustable lug. If you have two fixed lugs, Guidance Note 8 suggests that the back box is adequately earthed via the earthing straps on the accessory and the lugs. If you have two adjustable lugs, then an earthing tail is definitely required from the accessory to the back box, as the lugs can't be relied upon to make a good connection. If, however, you have one fixed lug and one adjustable lug, Guidance Note 8 says that an earth link is desirable. So is that required or not? Why is the word desirable used in this context? Well, if you think about the definition of desirable, what does it mean? It really means something that you'd like to have, but don't actually need to survive. I need food and water to live. I desire a nice drop of single malt whiskey every now and then. It'd be nice to have, but I won't die if I don't get it. So in this context, the IET is saying, wouldn't it be nice to install the earthing tail, even though it's not necessary to make the installation safe? In other words, it's best practice to put it in. One thing just to make a note of though, if the accessory only has one earth strap to one of the fixing holes, this is the one that must connect to the fixed lug of the accessory. So there we go. That's the guidance from the IET on earthing back boxes. But as always, we want to hear from you. Do you earth flush metal back boxes as a matter of course, or do you not worry about it as long as there's at least one fixed lug? Please leave your thoughts and questions in the comments below. And as always, thank you very much for watching.